Missile Command is a very simple game. Missiles and a set number of points, you get extra cities. The game continues until you have no cities left. Ground Control is a retro arcade. It's a recreation of the arcades as they existed in the early 80s, what some people call the golden era of arcades. Our first encounter with Bill was not with him, but it was with his high scores. Because every day, at the end of the day, asteroids would have a score of 99990. Now this is the highest score you can get on asteroids. And asteroids also clears its high score every day. So that meant someone was coming in every single day and playing it very carefully so that they would get the maximum possible score without rolling it over. Because if you get one more point, it goes back to... That was a good one. Tied up. Yeah, I'm guessing it was uh, 1980, 1981. Um, there was a, a guy that worked at the uh, bowling alley uh, who was a video game god to all of us that were 12 and 13, you know, at that age. And uh, one day while I was going through my rant about how great he was, he stopped me and said, hey, he said, look, do you want to be good at these? He said, when you eventually get good at one thing, when you see how you got good at it, how you had a passion for it, how you, you know, were driven to, to be good at it, it'll be easier to be good at other things later. But you gotta find something. It took me a while still to grasp what he had said, although I haven't forgotten it. Even though I did not become wickedly good at playing video games back then in the early 80s, at the age of 12 and 13 and 14, I went on to become good at other things. And for me, it was 15 years later uh, when I went back and found these out-of-date games. They were almost ready to be called classic arcade gaming uh, when I first broke a million or broke two million or started accomplishing goals that I wanted to I wanted to set when I was 13. Bill is one of the dedicated players um, of today. He's not only dedicated in playing particular titles, he's dedicated in being one of the trendsetters as far as uh, classic arcade game world record holders. He knows what he's up against as far as some of the world records from yesteryear and yet he is doggedly determined to go after a few of them on some key titles. Um, his pursuit of asteroids to take down Scott Safran's now 24-year-old record was uh, nothing short of spectacular. The asteroids attempt of 2003, I think November of 2003, is uh, what, what put me on the map in the world of classic gaming. A Portland man is on a quest to destroy as many asteroids as he possibly can. William C. is going for the world record on the classic video game Asteroids. It's going to take the 36-year-old technician more than 80 hours of playing the game nonstop to break the record. William says he's prepared, he just hopes the machine is. I'd say around about the 23-hour uh, mark to about the 25-hour mark. I was tired. Now. You know, my shoulder hurts regardless, my forearms hurt, my fingers hurt regardless, my back hurts, but I'm tired. And it, it, it seemed natural because it's, you know, the end of a day of playing a game. I've been up more than a day, but it's a day of playing the game. He was looking kind of grim, <laughs> to be honest. And, you know, he was just kind of like, he was determined. I mean, I knew he wanted to do it, but it was kind of uncharted territory. Just three hours later, the 27-hour mark, I was feeling... Uh, great. I was feeling up for the challenge and I was attacking the machine. I was even commenting on how good I felt. Um, and this is all, you know, 18 minutes before. 
The screen went blank. The game zapped. It fried. Something on the power board smoked. Although coming through the speakers was a noise we'd never heard before. Some wild humming. Oh. It was kind of a heartbreaker. No, it was really a heartbreaker. <laughs> he was stunned at that one. Uh, nobody to this day knows what happened. All I could think about was how I failed Bill. Honestly, I really felt bad about it because I knew he'd worked hard for it. The average player doesn't play a game for more than two and a half minutes or so. This game lasts for a thousand times that. So anything can happen. In Bill's case, the worst of the worst happened. The game turned itself off. The Sunday Oregonian, flipping through it, I go, God, that guy looks familiar. Huh. And then I saw the picture hanging up in the uh, lunchroom, and that's that guy. And he hung his picture up. That's Terry's what most of us would call a genius. <laughs> I expect someday to um, see a Mensa, you know, card come falling out of his wallet somewhere at some point. <laughs> but uh, he's, he's uh, you know, I'm the talent, but uh, he's the brains behind keeping all the electronics going. There's a missile command in here. It took 25 years, but there's one in this garage. That was like a fourth celebration. <laughs> Good job. Oh. Congratulations. Hmm. Thank you, my man. Appreciate your assistance. Well, I guess no better time than the present. First board's pretty basic, but after this, they'll start picking up speed. Yeah. Put the X far enough under where they're heading, and that's it. Jamming. It's the first time you've seen me play this, right? It is, yeah. Yeah, it's all in the way you play it, isn't it? <laughs> Is that world record fucking caliber right there or what? You could just go for it now. Six cities gone so far. Go to hell. Yeah, this is. Oh, that's a problem. Uh oh. A connection to one of those ROM chips. It's probably flaky. A few of these were loose. They, over time, they walk out of their sockets when they heat up and cool down. If they get loose enough, go into a reset condition and reset the game. Not what Bill would want to see after about 10 or 15 hours. We're at 168. We're at 180. Ripped off twice. Don't they know who's playing this game? What's up? We have 300,000. Mm. 350. 400,000. Mm. 660. Yeah. Oh, there we go. 515 points. I think it's not Y2K. There's one million? I just need a game with 80 of those. <laughs> There's two million. With six cities, two million. The world record is 80 million points. Um, I'm guessing that will take me between 54 to 56 hours to match. Go out, there's no wicked electrical storm. And the game doesn't reset. So it's really nothing to do with time, it's just score. It's got nothing to do with time. Yeah, right. My highest ever, because I fell asleep, is 29.7, just under the 30 million mark. That leaves me at number 10 so far, all time, at least of the ones that have ever been logged. And mine is the only one on video.
Hey, let's put up uh, some initials here. Three million five hundred thousand. I'm beating the world record on this unit right here. The 1980 Atari Classic Arcade Game Missile Command had its world record of 80 million points set by Victor Ali nearly 25 years ago. It is his only world record achievement, yet it is outstanding and has not been broken in 25 years by another gamer. It is one of the longest unbroken marathon world records in Twin Galaxies history. Victor Ali has since retired from the world of competitive gaming. Newburgh's a small populated town, a little over 20,000 people, uh, three schools, uh, lots of churches. There are churches everywhere. There's a pool hall a couple blocks down, and uh, basically us as far as things to do for teenagers, places for them to get away. There is one skate park in town, pretty much just a small, quiet town. Bill came in and uh, let us know that on his next vacation, he was planning on uh, breaking the world record for Missile Command and uh, was interested in doing it here and wanted to know if we could purchase the machine if he tracked one down. I've seen him play. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be able to keep it. As long as the machine holds out, as long as it doesn't go kaput, he should be just fine. You can have fuses within the game burn out, capacitors exploding. You can have the controller becoming undone, screws becoming unloose, oil jamming up the optical sensors, phosphor burn. You can have the, uh, the CMOS basically refresh itself during the game. A power surge resets the game. It's a, a sad but true aspect of video gaming. You have no control over what happens during a marathon. Uh, at work, uh, my daytime job, I uh, repair lighting boards, lighting equipment. I do a little bit of customer service, a little bit of support, not too much of that. I'm really digging uh, being a repair technician. There is the um, pride you get from fixing a broken whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. No, I have plenty to look forward to at work. Uh, I, I don't sit there uh, worrying about my next world record attempt. I enjoy the benefit of the day going by quickly if I keep my ass moving. So I keep my ass moving. With this first practice, I started late after working all day. I wanted to start and play um, a long-term game after I was already exhausted and beat up. We took the game in on a Friday night and uh, set it up. I let the people that were around, you know, take their turn on it and have some fun gaming, playing and playing and playing. They wouldn't get a chance to play it. So finally I got around to playing and uh, it went to about 2.1 million and then it reset. Took a small break, you know, of course this is an hour and 35, hour and 40 minutes later. Sat right back down. Played another game to about 1.8 million, something like that. It reset. After the smoke break, I'm gonna start it up again. Play again until uh, they can't handle it no more. Then uh, reset it, start it up again, and play it until it can't handle it no more. Uh, some people uh, are hanging out in the back, uh, playing the land games. It's about 2.20 in the morning and I'm playing EverQuest and it's a, it's a pretty boring game actually. You do basically the same thing over and over and over again. There's not a whole lot to do here in Newburgh so you got either video games, alcohol, or drugs and I got out of that. So it's video games it is. Hoping my endurance will grow over the next couple of weekends doing this. Let it beat me up the first week, get a little bit more used to it the second week, be tough as nails by the third week. Uh, 
Uh, let's have a look. It's uh, reset three times. I'm on the fourth game. Once it got as high as 4.2 million. Another time it was like 2.3 million. Even with a messed up board. It's all about endurance training right now. this game 20 some years ago as a teenager at the pizza parlor and I had a paper route and I would put every penny I had into this game. They had uh, this, they had Asteroids, Donkey Kong, um, uh, Space Invaders, you know, the good ones from the past. It's weird to be in a situation where you're looking at something that was high tech when you were growing up. It's like, oh wow! a computer game and now it's you know stone age compared to what they have now my son plays playstation 2 and and he can kick my butt at any of the games this is the only video game i can beat him at he won't even try it's obvious this guy's been playing and uh he's already the second best player in town you want to do doubles i'll go for sure second. oh i love that all right, all right, cool. Oh, that's like Michael Jordan saying, hey, you want to play horse? Oh, sure. <laughs> little competition. The pressure's on. All right. Hey, six cities. Kept them alive. Kind of morbid to think that there might be a hundred or two hundred or five hundred thousand people that just died because you failed to take out a smart bomb, but the computer reanimates them. I would hate to let George Bush play this game. You damn skippy, heavy. <laughs> have the best game of your life. I am, actually. I mean, getting to this level is no big deal for me, but usually I'm down to one or two cities. I think I've got all six of them. I have to spray and pray at this level, and he can still pick them off. This is where the men are getting separated from the boys right here. <laughs> Oh well, 205, 605, that's a high score. There's a new personal high score. New personal high score on a stand-up machine. I've done 239 on my computer at home, but it's not the same thing. Wow, good feeling. I have to take a break now, my hands are tired. <laughs> well man, it was great playing against somebody yeah. who knows how to play, seriously. Thank man. you for having this here and you can have signs or anything outside or you know most of the time it doesn't work out I've never gotten a number one so really the thing is after it happens let the officiators decide watching the videotape and then it's a big extravaganza hey it happened because if you say anything up front it never works out and you're just sitting there with the egg on your face you know I learned that the hard way I'm in the presence of greatness <laughs> it's good to meet you yeah it's good to meet you sir. I think I'm going to go next door, get something to eat, and then I'm going to come back and play some more. a lot of players I'm really not that addicted uh, I, I guess it's denial setting in but um, I'm not really as hardcore as a whole lot of other people
while I'm scrolling down the M's. Here we go. Missile command. I think I'm going to call. Yes, sir. I was curious about um, a missile command PCB. I have finally located a dealership uh, that, that's that got uh, many boards that they're offering. And uh, by the end of this week, they will uh, send me another board that they guarantee uh, will hold up. All I need is for it to hold up for two and a half, three days, one time. The one time I want it to, that's all I need. And then I don't care if it resets once a day. I'm fine with that. I don't care. Two weeks from right now, if things are going the way I want them to be, I will still be sitting at a missile command playing and it will be, it will be about 34 hours into the game. So in two weeks from right now, I'll be 20 hours shy of my goal. Um, and you know, with a refurbished board from some professionals that are guaranteeing it to me, I feel a lot more confident about it. As a teen, video games was a big part of my life. I mean, it was school, homework, soccer, and video games. Missile Command, it was great. It was planes going across, missiles coming down, cities, you know. A record, and we said, what kind of record? You know, well, let's just try to see how far we can get with this. Talked to the manager and gave us permission to play. They roped it all off and red rope and uh, put the game right in the middle of the place. And uh, we said, okay, we'll attempt it. If you ask me, well, Victor, how, how long did you really last? I don't know. I think it was 60-something hours. That's probably about it. It's, it's probably a blur. I know I went home and I was asleep. There was no outset of saying, hey, I'm going to go for the world's record. And it was pretty much a lark. You know, let's say, hey, Vic, let's do it. Let's see how long we can do it for. You know, if we get close, we get close. And there was no expectations. I got lucky. Maybe once, you know, every five or six years, I'd say, we talk about video games, hey, I have a world's record. And most people say, oh, yeah, sure you do. I've never thought about, wow, that must be a, you know, that's, that's a big record. I mean, I didn't think it was around now. It's just a plus. It's just a plus, you know. And whoever it is, and, and they get uh, 83 million, 85 million, you know, and they want to stay up that many nights, good luck to them. started. We're going to go at 1.10 on the clock. 30 seconds. 3, 2, I'm sorry. There we go. into it. I'm at 930,000, but we're not yet at 1 million. We're looking for 80 million. We're looking for 100 million. I don't know about this 80 million thing. That was weak. I realize it's going to be grueling, but if I make history, it'll be worth it. Nobody ever, nobody ever made history by being a big puss.
We are at four point G right here where I'm losing cities. Expecting uh, showing up here shortly. So I can bore them with this game. You know, my girlfriend and I were talking last night how many uh, women would not enjoy their boyfriends doing this on Easter weekend or Good Friday weekend or whatever the heck it is. Fortunately, I have a very loving, understanding woman. Oh, hey, baby. Almost at five million. He looks um, very good, very good. He looks like he can hold up for about two and a half days. <laughs> we'll see. We've been talking about it for months, and I was thinking about that going home tonight, how finally it was here, that he was finally going for it. So it was exciting that we're getting through this and starting it, and we'll see how he finishes up. But <laughs> I had to work all day while he was busy playing, so. Um, I was very distracted at work. Basically, my mind was on him, and I was all excited and um, bragging to my coworkers about what he was doing, and everyone thought that was very exciting. <laughs> so, <laughs> crazy, but exciting. My prediction is he'll make it to Sunday morning. I, I really think he will. I really think he will do it. But that, I'm being partial. <laughs> oh, look at that, shots in every base, six cities. I don't brag about that much. Because it doesn't happen much. Six million right there. Okay, so at uh, four hours, 44 minutes, still looking at over two days. If everything goes fine. Otherwise, we're looking at another 10 minutes if things don't go fine. And it went to almost 600,000. And it reset. It couldn't handle it. Sorry. But you can see it pauses when it gets there and it's like, what the hell? What the, what, what? And then boom, just reset. Couldn't handle it. 8,600,000. In a way, it might be a blessing because I did not get enough sleep last night. I didn't. I couldn't sleep. I even took NyQuil and it kept me up. I am not surprised. I am not in shock. It's what happens every time. A marathoner will have a certain resolve about going for the marathon record that no other gamer will have. It's not about can you do it. It's about, I will do it. Do or die, I will do it. I will do it regardless of the circumstances. I will do it unless I am prevented from completing it. That's it, last item. <sighs> Tried to keep it dry. Yeah, what's up, Bill? You haven't had enough game playing in the last uh, 48 hours? Yeah. I love it. That's who, that's who. What's that? Addicted to Missile Command? There's a new number two for one credit gaming. Get my slippers back on, put some food away, take care of my nasty breath. It was over so fast this time, I barely got to break a sweat. Barely started to go through any of the fruit. All right, let's have a look at this, huh? I got tape one still in the VCR. I got tape two written on, didn't even need it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so what, eight hours on each one? Eight eights, what, 64 plus eight, 72. 72 hours worth of recording. I had all ready to go. I needed just the first tape. Goofy. There's a number of advantages to it not working out. 
One of them is I get to come home and eat a quality meal and I can stop eating like a bird and um, worrying about not wanting to poop for two days in the back of some nasty game room. At some point I'm going to have... And then I'm going to have to perform. Gamers come in terms of different levels of seriousness. The serious gamer is the one that's going to not give up on their desire to finish a, a, a role-playing game or to beat a world's record. These are the ones that will, under no circumstances, stop trying. But we brought the machine back in. I pulled the board out, and actually I did find something. Required pulling the chips out, cleaning the pins real well, putting them back in, and that was it. Just some bad connections. We put some scores on there, and I come out and check it every morning before going to work and check it every night when I come home, and I have a backup power supply on there so I can tell if it's reset or anything during the day. And the galaxy and see what happens. I'm ready to go. Uh, it's all up to Bill. I got two lists here. One of them, uh, one is my ninja list. My ninja list is all the things that I want to make sure I have ready for tomorrow. Boom box, CDs, change of clothes, fruit, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, my special chair, both my cameras, both my VCRs, film, tapes, cord, pain reliever, and cash. That's my ninja list for tomorrow. Got to have all that. Then I went through and wrote out uh, in uh, the tenth position. It's going to be hard enough just getting back to where I were, you know, passing my old score. Much less, uh, you know, getting to this 51 million point. We're practically at 52 million here on both these. And if I get there, I don't want to just beat it by a million. I want to, I want to, be, I want to beat it by millions. I want to blow it away. I want to get 90 million. I want to get 95 million. Make it to where nobody has the uh, desire to try and beat it 20 years from now. Yeah, I'm a whole lot more confident in the game this time than I was last time. I'm more nervous about doing something wrong than I am about playing the game. The score can be broken, but um, doing something wrong ahead of time is very easy to do. Um, you know, fall down, get in a car accident on the way there, hurt my finger, whatever. Gouge out an eyeball. This is my third and I want it to be the last. That way I can move on to another game. Perhaps take on asteroids, I'm not sure yet. But we got uh, hopefully 12 hours to go and I'm there doing it. Okay, I got a 1980 quarter here. This is it, this time. Three, two, one. Uh, player one button needs to be fixed. All right, we're going for one o'clock. <laughs> player one button needs to be fixed. Let me get my technician on this. <laughs> Let me go get the keys of this thing. Hey, where's that quarter? I want it back now. The player one button broke. How, how weird. Sorry, everybody. We wait till one. One o'clock. One o'clock. I'm kicking this game's ass. Kicking it. 20 seconds. Here we go. 25 year old quarter. Oh. Going into a 25-year-old game. That's 25 years old going into 25-year-old game. So that means I'm gonna play for 25 days. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought. There we go. Straight up one o'clock. Ooh, 
well, it's too early to be yawning. We're at five hours, 27 million, uh, minutes. Uh -uh. Five hours, 27 minutes. We're at 8.7 million. I'm starting it on Saturday. I'm ending it on Memorial Day. What I'm curious about is how many other people in town are spending their Memorial Day weekend breaking a world record on a classic arcade video game? A handful? A couple hundred? Or... My holidays and vacations are always either, you know, one way you could look at it is, say, ruined by these attempts. Either Missile Command or Asteroids, or Missile Command, Asteroids, going back and forth. Um, uh, what else are you gonna What else are you gonna do besides go see the same relatives that you see, or the same ocean that you see, or go hang out Mount Hood, which I always see. You know, I don't uh, run the risk of breaking the world record on Missile Command every day, so it's worth it. Thirty million. Whoop de do. Whoop de friggin' do. All right, let's have a look. Coming up. Oh, it's eight o'clock, which means it's been nineteen hours. I'm doing math right now. It's rough. It's been nineteen hours. Just past the thirty million mark. Feeling a little bit loopy. I'm happy though. Because if I don't make it past any of the other past players and their positions, then all of this was done just to bump up my own record, still in 10th place. Anticlimactic. But it's the risk we run, we run you know. I... Loopy! I'm curious how I'm going to be feeling tomorrow at this time. I hope just as good as I feel right now. Thirty-one. Thirty-one million. I was at 800,000. Hey, man. All right, well, we got it on video. If I beat the world record, I picture it two different ways. Or I turn around, face the crowd, you know, everybody at the little game room, we all celebrate and cheer and everything, and I'm probably not gonna have the energy to make my way back to the game. Because, you know, it's all psychological. Or I'm going to have such a rush from finally getting there that after four or five minutes of cheering and relaxing and everything, as long as I'm feeling good, perhaps I'll go back to the game, continue playing it. And then, if the board hasn't reset on me, I'm going to stay playing it. You know, every other time, man, I've been lighthearted about this thing ending, and oh. Why would it let me get all the way to 32 million before screwing up? Why? Why not at 12 million? Why not at 8 million? Why at 32 million does it do it? At this moment, right now, I can't say whether or not I'll ever go for this again on this game. I'm just too good for the machine. What a huge compliment. I shouldn't be upset. 
Hey, baby. Uh, why don't you give me a call? Because there's no missile command going on. Uh, love you. Bye. This was stupid. What the fuck am I doing? Four fifty-five, oh fifteen. I told you that. It's kooky! Hey man, I'm turning this off. Right, good thing I brought my ninja list, huh? I could blame the machine, I could blame myself, and I could say I'm sorry, but you know, there's really nothing you could do or say. That's, he was going for the record, and he didn't get it. Maybe that just shows you how hard it really is. People set these records, and you might think, hey, you know, let's set a record on some silly game. You know, what's, why would you want to do that? He knows he could have done it. And he'll, if he doesn't try it again, he'll never get that out of his mind. And as, as we get older, the opportunity will get smaller and smaller until finally it's gone. And then he won't be able to try. And then, uh, then all you have is the regret of not trying again to reach that goal. Then what do you do? You live with a regret. So I don't want to see him live with that. I know what that's like. So I think it's important to, uh, maybe not right now. <laughs> there's a bit of a, there's a time for mourning. Time to uh, reflect for a while, but uh, he needs to try it again. Shoot him! Now wait until he's dead. Like he falls off. Ow! <laughs> Volumes of information can be crammed through your brain in a tenth of a second sometimes. When it held up for a half a second longer than it should have, I knew. But I was hoping that, that it would hire another half a second, which took a while to go by. And my worst fears had come true, you know. I'd, have, I'd had more than a half a second to be terrorized by it, just for it to be true. It sucked. Sucked worse this time than any other time. I was convinced this game was 100% and everything was on the up and up and that we were doing it and we were making history on that day, Memorial Day, Newburgh, Oregon. Not to be. So, it was torturous. It's to a point now where I almost expect it, except this time I really fooled myself into believing that that wasn't going to happen. And I was very fooled. I was. I was sure, and I was wrong. And that's pretty much when I made my decision that next year I'm going to go ahead and do this and kick its ass, you know. I am going to be the one to dog out that score. It seems pretty impossible. Even the number two score is 
very far up the ladder. And, uh, you know, if I make it that far and I got a unit that's holding up, there's, there's nothing keeping me from finishing that. Missile Command, I'm, just, I'm okay with, you know. Asteroids, I'm about average. But uh, roller skating, that's my true passion. Oh, my.